what is up everybody it's your boy here surrender here to teach you how to become the number one pilot in battlefield one yes indeed <laughs> no but in all seriousness here to teach you some tips and tricks that i use myself to become a better flyer and hopefully they'll help you out as well anyways let's get right into it so to get started i play on the pc i primarily use the wasd and arrow keys when i fly I don't use the mouse because it's too hard and I just can't get used to it and I also don't have a joystick or a flight stick so I don't really use that. I don't even know if people still use that anymore but ultimately I think the way other people fly shouldn't influence your decision and it should be whatever you feel the most comfortable with and I also personally don't think that it makes a huge difference in terms of flying quality or how well you fly if you use one over the other. Anyways to get started so the first point is the mini map. The minimap is really important when you're flying because once you're up in the air you really won't have a sense of what's going on down below you and unless you're with a really communicative squad it's really hard to tell where those enemy pockets will actually be at. Combine that with flares and it'll be really easy to figure out where the biggest enemy pockets are at and then you'll be able to rack up some really simple kills and even if you don't have flares on your plane your team will always have snipers there's no doubt about that so you'll always be able to figure out where the general vicinity of the enemies are at and even if your team rarely doesn't have that you'll be able to look at the objectives to get a general sense for where they're at. So the next tip is you really want to fly high and come down at a sharp angle. The moment you fly parallel to the ground like what I'm doing right now, you miss a lot of your shots and then you can't get off some easy splash damage on the enemies. And as a result, you end up missing a lot of free kills that you could have gotten from the splash damage that you would have had if you flew down at a sharp angle. Not to mention, when you fly parallel to the ground, you're more likely to hit trees, walls, buildings, whatever is in your way. And at least for me, I spend more concentration when I fly parallel to the ground just trying to get out alive rather than hitting the enemy. Moving on to the next tip, you always want to fly in the direction the cover is running wherever the enemies are hiding behind. And what I mean by that is if the enemies are hiding behind the wall that is running north to south, then that's the path you really want to take when you're flying in for the kills on the enemies. Because the moment you fly straight up against that cover, then you'll be hitting that cover more often than you would be if you had flown in from the side or from the behind even. And if you fly in from the side, you'll be able to pop off more shots on enemies. And as you all know, the more shots you get off on the enemies, the more kills you can get. And we all like some simple kills, right? You show me a man who doesn't like easy kills and I'll show you a liar. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But in this next part, we'll be talking about how to deal with behemoths. So when fighting against a behemoth, I think following the fly high rule is even more important than ever. Because especially when you're fighting against a battleship or a train, they both have AA guns on them. And you really have to worry about them knocking your plane out within a few hits if you're flying too low or too slow. However, with the Zeppelin, it's a whole different story. As long as you can fly above the Zeppelin and not into the view of the bottom gunners, you really don't have to worry about getting shot down by the zeppelin itself and the reason being for that is because the tail gunner really can't shoot at you because his range and his field of view is really obscured by the zeppelin itself and not to mention as long as you can kill the top gunner which is pretty simple to do you really don't have to worry about the bottom gunners as long as you're on top of the zeppelin itself but again when you're dealing with the train and the battleship you want to make sure that you're staying out of the range of the aa gun when you're not attacking it and when you do attack it you want to make sure you're coming at a really high angle and then so you're just speeding in there landing a couple of hits and then speeding back out and that's pretty much also my take on dealing with aa guns you just got to use speed to your advantage and try to make sure they can't hit you when you're speeding by past them and when you're flying out, don't forget to use your environment to your advantage, especially when you're flying by an AA gun. If you use the sun, the trees, buildings, anything, if you use any of that to your advantage, it improves your survivability by that much because it just makes you that much harder to hit. Last but not least, we'll talk about dropping the bombs, the big bada booms. And this doesn't just apply for the attack plane, it's also for the bombers and the trench fighter kit for the fighter as well. When you're dropping bombs, you really want to make sure you're at your lowest point and you drop your bombs right before you pull up. Because the moment you pull up and then you drop your bombs, you greatly increase the amount of spread between your bombs. And as a result, while you can damage more people in a greater area, you end up not being able to kill as many people as you could if you just dropped it in a clustered area. Because your bombs don't actually do much damage when they're separated. Anyways guys, that's all I had on this episode for how to improve your flying abilities in Battlefield 1. I hope these tips and tricks helped you out on the battlefield itself. And just to do a quick recap, let's go right through it. Minimap and flares, they are best friends. Make sure you use them or else you're going to be as blind as Ray Charles as you know it. <laughs> Anyways, you also want to remember to fly high as a motherfucking cock. And then come down at a sharp angle, just like any eagle would when you're hunting for your prey, right? Right, come on now. Anyways, you also want to remember to fly parallel to the ground. 
not to the ground sorry what am i talking about fly parallel to the cover but not to the ground because if you fly parallel to the ground you're gonna end up like that and you're gonna crash into everything like i did because i suck anyways hope you guys remember that and i'll see you next time peace